Hey there everybody, we just wanted to make a video um, to record some of our art collection. Um, we collect a lot of kitsch uh, stuff, we do a lot of big eyed paintings, uh, velvet paintings, um, also a lot of UFO cryptid stuff, um, game stuff, um, but what we wanted to do was just kind of walk through it. Um, there's not a lot of stuff on the internet or on YouTube about um, about big eye paintings and velvet painting collecting so I'm just gonna kinda go through talk about a few of these and how we um, how we collect okay starting out uh, I'm just gonna go around the room here starting out with this one this is uh, this is a large Keen uh, Margaret Keen from um, uh, I believe this one says uh, it's 1962 um, we actually got this one off of uh, Etsy a few years ago, I believe, because there's not a lot of uh, Keen in our area, really, when you're flea market shopping and yard sale shopping. But I love this one. Um, underneath that, uh, this one is uh, Roth. I believe it's Etienne Roth is the name of the artist. Um, who's often included in the, in the genre, but this is the only one we have of Roth. Next to that, we have a couple of Mao prints. Um, these are um, have the Matador here, and we have this lady here, with a very flowery hat. Um, Mao was one of those artists, like many of the other ones, that were from, um, uh, well, she painted in Los Angeles. Um, I believe she studied art in Chicago and in Prague and uh, ended up. Uh, sort of hobnobbing with uh, celebrities uh, like Clark Gable, people like that in, um, in Los Angeles and painted for some of those stars. Uh, here we have three small um, pieces that are um, Os Francia. Os Francia is another one of those painters. Uh, he came from, actually came from Brazil I believe and um, came to America on a swimming scholarship and ended up uh, working for Disney. I think he might have worked on Lady and the Tramp if I'm not um, mistaken. Up here above the mirrored uh, closet we have a couple of these triptychs. Oftentimes you will find these um, three small paintings put together in, a, um, uh, in one print. And these three are from Eden. Uh, there's a sailor girl that we got a Harlequin girl, and the one on the end, I believe, is called T for One. Uh, the next one is uh, Lee. Lee's uh, an artist also like Eden that I really cannot find much about at all on the internet. But Lee seems to have um, seems to have really copied a lot of the other artists, and Lee seems was really versatile and could do a lot. Uh, in different styles. Um, uh, speaking of copies, uh, this artist, which is, is the only one I've seen, um, uh, the name is Ward. Uh, the painting is called Missy. Uh, this artist is really, uh, it's uncanny, the resemblance to Keane's art. Um, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the, the colors are brighter, um, it's a lot less melancholy, but has a lot in common with Keen. Underneath here we have uh, another Oz Francia. And another Oz Francia. And then under that we have uh, Mao. And Mao used to do um, also these li very lith sort of uh, tall, thin women that also they had a lot in common with the um, uh, the child paintings of Mao too. This one is Quats. Um, don't know much about Quats uh, but these are some grooving kids and there's a sort of a genre there within the big eye genre where a lot of um, painters did kids dancing. They did um, playing instruments or listening to radios. There's a dog in this one, so we still have the dog and cat. There's a little cat there too. Um, but it's a lot more happy. Finally, um, found some
prints by Eve. Uh, we found three. There's the boy with his little radio. We have a girl playing folk music. And then we have two girls with a record player. Eve um, is definitely one of our favorites. Eve really is just some strange stuff. Um, you see a lot of Eve pictures on the internet, but you rarely ever see these in person, at least in our experience. And we've been collecting Big Eye paintings for probably five years. Um, over here we get into the kitties and the puppies, and this is a very large, which is also kind of rare to find a large, um, Gig, the painter who went by Gig when he was doing these. His actual name was Gerard Goodenow, and um, he was the illustrator for the original first edition of Bambi, and also did some work for Disney as well. Uh, there's a smaller version of that one, and then this one I believe is Gallardi. I don't know. We don't have any other works by them. Uh, we have another King here. Uh, this is another gig. If I can get out of the light. A pity puppy. Under here we have another Eden. It's a very small one, framed one. And we have a Lee up here, showing Lee's versatility there. And another Keen here. Moving on up here, uh, here's another Oz Francia. There's a similar one called Beetle Boy we've been looking for, but we haven't been able to find it. And then here we have three Edens. Uh, Harlequins with lutes, and then there's a ballerina girl on the end there. I love Eden. I love this just style of Eden. I like the backgrounds. I like the colors. I like the facial features. We have Lee on the end here. Um, in a rainy skyline with a little puppy dog. Now I'm going to go back over here to the top of this chest of drawers and we'll look at some of this stuff we've got. Uh, here's some of our tiki's and we have a um, Frank Frazetta Mothman print that he did for uh, Mothman Prophecies. There's a um, shrunken head. And over here we have uh, Medeiros behind there peeking out from behind. Uh, we have a uh, another gig, a little unframed gig, and then we have some pity puppies here. Puppies and kitties. And some fortune telling cards there. These little knickknacks are kind of hard to find. The smaller ones are salt and pepper shakers. Okay, we're gonna move over here. Let's see, we've got a few more here. Yeah, uh, there's a few Lee, I mean, uh, these are Keen. Tiny Keens, very small versions, and then we have some other oddities here, some pulp novels and some some lucky cats and an elf. Um, actually, I have some velvet paintings. Velvet Here's painting some collection. Our, uh, this one's Ortiz. Um, you don't really see a lot of these like cherubs. Uh, in velvet painting, uh, but you do see a lot of Ortiz around here. This one reminded us of uh, Wigwam Village in Kentucky, one of our favorite places. Here's a, a still life, a landscape. We have an Ortiz panther. And a really cool elephant up here. We found the elephant in the cherub in Cave City actually. And we have a big Elvis here above the bed. Uh, one of the better Elvises I've ever seen really in person. Um, these are um, becoming more and more rare these days. Next to him there's another Elvis. A smaller one up top. 
we have a couple of dogs here. We have German Shepherd and a Doberman, and I believe those are by the same artist, but I'm not sure of the artist's name, but the signatures look similar. Here's a kitty. We have this amazing unicorn right here being struck by lightning. Unicorns and lightning are uh, apparently uh, go together like um, peanut butter and jelly. Now we're going to get into some of the ones that I did. Um, this is a uh, Flatwoods monster. Uh, the Flatwoods monster is one of the famous uh, UFO related cryptids uh, from West Virginia in addition to the Mothman. Um, this is a landscape that I didn't do. Um, up top here we have one that I did inspired by uh, ancient aliens. Next to that we have um, a Mothman and uh, of the original sketch of Mothman. I also did this Sonic the Hedgehog but it's not framed. Uh, next to that, this one is a very interesting piece. This is um, in Vietnam. Uh, some of the soldiers would uh, hire these local painters. The painters, uh, the Vietnamese painters who worked on velvet, they would hire them to paint uh, portraits of uh, the soldiers in um, as big-eyed kids on velvet. So this combines big-eyed painting and velvet painting at that time. And this one's signed to his uh, loved ones on the back. Here we have a gigantic Ortiz uh, lion at the bottom. And they kind of move on to some UFO stuff for a bit. Uh, we picked this up uh, at the Mothman Festival last year. This is uh, an uncut trading card set uh, signed by the artist of UFO um, investigators and cryptozoologists John Keel um, uh, J. Allen Hynek uh, Donald Kehoe, people like that then we have a Mothman 66, I like this one because it's psychedelic, uh, it looks like a psychedelic poster um, rock poster from the 60's we have um, the dates here on it uh, for the first sightings of the Mothman, it's signed by the artist and also by um, one of the original witnesses uh, of the Mothman, uh, Faye DeWitt. I did this uh, Dreamcatcher, uh, Bigfoot Dreamcatcher, styled after the um, famous uh, film from the 70s. This is a uh, Inquirer issue from 1967. A, back there is a, um, a collage that I did. Some um, Von Daniken sort of inspired stuff. And you have a stack of UFO books. Some of these are, um, I guess some of these are more UFO cults. There's a Unarius uh, Rialism. Um, there's a couple of contact ebooks. Um, some John Keel. And then there's uh, actually, this one is my book. Oh no, that was not it. This one is it right here. This is my book. Uh, it's out right now. On, um, it's called Saucers Over Appalachia. I don't know how well that's uh, zooming in or is focusing, but um, it's out right now on Amazon. We'll put a link to it. Uh, some various uh, UFO encrypted artifacts. There's some Medicom mystery toys down here. Uh, Mothman statue from the Mothman Museum. Uh, Bandai Flatwoods Monster. Um, some cryptozoological toys. Uh, there's Jersey Devil, Adamski spaceship. Um, there's Mulder and Scully. There's a stuffed Mothman. Uh, Robin's mother made. There is a uh, as a little stuffed um, Flatwoods monster we got at the Mothman Festival. Down here, some Xbox games. Mostly, these are just kind of spilled over because the other game systems are all throughout. But um, then we have uh, some Twilight Zone stuff. You got um, 
the bobblehead uh, guys from the um, uh, what is it called the episode with uh, William Shatner Mothman comic and this is the uh, monsters house I put the model together last winter I believe and a Bob Dobbs stencil uh, underneath the TV here oh, this is a painting I did of uh, the Adamski spaceship and here on this table we have some puzzles of some pity puppies and then this one here is uh, is a Lee these are kinda hard to come by there's a couple more Lee's down there have and over here we more Mao these are Mardi Gras kids I think they're known as and there's a couple more mouths there yeah uh, that pretty much wraps portion up of the big eyes and the um, velvet paintings I'll do a little pan kind of a pan of the room here yeah, it gives you an idea an idea what we uh, kind of things we collect and we'll be looking for more of in China